When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. All right, good morning, Jack. Hey, guys. Yeah, this is Jack. Hey there. Thank you for allowing us to talk to you about your situation. Uh, go ahead and explain everything that's going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, recently I, I had to go to a charity event hosted by my, my boss where an, a nice suit, you know, was in order. Okay. And typically our office is very casual. I don't really own any suits. I'm not, I'm not really like that dressy or flashy of a guy. You Do know? you work in radio? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, baby, you know. Uh, so I, I, I splurged on a four hundred dollars suit, and oh. uh, I, I loved it. Okay. You know, I felt like a million bucks having it on. It really Absolutely. Did, you know? But like, I definitely didn't have the money to spend on something like that, you know. So uh-huh. I, I bought the suit Saturday, wore it that night. And returned it on Monday. You know? <laughs> just, just got oh. all the money back. Okay. Yeah. All right. People do this. People, it's like I've done this before. I left all the tags on it uh, when I wore it. No one saw any of it. Um, and like you know, sometimes for occasions, that's how it is. Like New Year's Eve. Like am I supposed to just buy a flashy suit every time I go out to a New Year's Eve party? <laughs> New Year's <laughs> Eve. You know. <laughs> Got to look good on New Year's Eve. I get it. Yeah. So I was just, you know, explaining to my friend that I've done this a couple of times. Uh-huh. And he kind of called me out. He said, she says it's bad to return something I've worn. Okay. But like, I be the only one working this. I feel like hearing you as a male doing this is a little bit surprising to me just because the cliche is that women will buy a dress keep the tags on, return it at the end of the night. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there have been some women. Well, there's also, I'm just, I'm looking on my Rent the Runway app and see if there's any men's clothes on it because that's, that's a whole service of where you're renting clothes, wearing them once, and sending it back for a much cheaper price. Oh, okay. I was about to say cheaper than free because I got like all my money back on this. No, yeah, no, 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 no. You're right. <laughs> it's not cheaper than free. Cheaper than free. <laughs> I mean, Jack's got a point, <laughs> Kelly. This he is does free. have a but point. I think your model is better. <laughs> you know, I, just, I don't know. Graduation, funeral, like I, I can't be like you guys have never returned any of your stuff. Just like uh, whatever. I need the money back. It's a one-time occasion. I I got to be I, honest, Jack. Yeah, I have I never once premeditated bought an outfit knowing I was going to return it the next day. Well, see, and, and I'll tell you, say this, there was a time where I was going to like Derby Eve galas every year and I'd have to have like red carpet dresses. Well, a lot of those kinds of dresses had tags that were on the outside of, you know, the big part of the skirt. So there kind of wasn't a way to hide that. Like I had to commit and cut that uh, tag because there was nowhere I could tuck that. So, right. Well, Jack, we, we are getting some yeah. support on our text line already, and uh, some of our other lines are ringing. So you may have some support in your uh, in your corner here. You're thrifty and you're fabulous. So, you know, exactly. it's a way to be fabulous on a budget. On a budget. If you have not thought about, about this, try it out, guys, okay? It's, it's a win-win for everybody. They get your clothes back, you get your money. <laughs> Jack, Jack is just working the system. He's a baller it's on the like budget. I get test it. driving a car. Most cars exactly. you buy, someone else has driven in a little bit, at least around the block, right? <laughs> I didn't think about that. No, that's exactly how it goes. Every car you've been in has been driven by somebody else. Yes. <laughs> Yes. All right, Jack, I hope uh, you got what you came for by letting us talk to you. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if you did or not, but I, I... Well, play this for your friend, maybe, and get him on board. Like, hey, see, it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other people have definitely done this. I know I can't be the only one. Appreciate you and your thriftiness. Maybe there now there's a reason for there to be a Rent the Runway for men. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I've never even heard of that before. I feel like men are being left out of this. It's yeah. magical for women. It has been a lifesaver. All right, buddy. Oh. Appreciate the phone call, man. Oh, no, thanks, guys. Appreciate you listening. Yeah, uh, I, I'm thinking of more about your car analogy, Kelly. And yeah? Yeah, but you're not putting your naked bits and pieces on the seats. Okay, all right. Well, people are wearing underwear, right? Not completely naked bits. Okay, well, actually, maybe I have done that once or twice. Oh. But 
I I don't return. It's not on a test drive. Jack didn't feel like he's a he's a commando kind of a guy in the suit. Justin's like that's shameful. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, uh, there are some people that are like absolutely stinking lutely not. Kelly not K says I think it's just rude. The person who ends up buying it is paying full price for a used outfit because they aren't a cheapskate. Okay, that is a good perspective. Uh, Cindy from Simpsonville is like, no can do, commando. Uh uh-uh, uh, nope, can't do it. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Says, so, so when you uh, hang on a second, I, I want to un- no, unpack that just a that. quick sec because oh is it a when you are buying something with the idea that you're returning it, the proper thing to do is to wear underwear? Yeah, yes, the proper thing to do is wear underwear all the time, right? Well, no, no, I, I know. Comfortable, isn't it? N- Kelly, not everybody is wound up as tight as you are. All right, there, I'm there, wound up tight because I prefer to wear undergarments. Exactly, every day. Exactly, there are some of us who uh, like to be free. Uh, all right, all who right. like the, the freedom of 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 uh, See, un- you're grossing Cindy from Simpsonville out. No, you're I'm grossing just saying her out. She's is, walking away right now. I can almost feel it. I know there aren't quote rules on this, but maybe there are, or there should be some unwritten rules that if you are. Uh, planning on buying something with the idea of returning it that you do kind of like what they say in the changing rooms and you wear make sure you're wearing underwear. Did I just become a spokesperson for the undergarment industry in saying that you need to wear undergarments every day? Did that, did that just happen? That was unintended. Jennifer said years ago when my husband and I got married, we had no money. Broke, broke. So I bought a derby dress. We got married. Returned it right after. Mm. All right, 502-795-1997. Let's hear your story of you getting maybe, uh, maybe I want to hear from someone who tried to return something and couldn't because of what was on the thing. Or maybe you work in retail, all right? 502-795-1997. I do have a story of buying something and returning it. All right, so we'll get to that. It wasn't closed, but I did do that. All right, we'll get to that coming up here in just a moment. Hang on. Uh, I love the sass that's rolling on our text line right now. Um, It all started because Jack had called and admitted that, you know what, I I will... I I, I will buy a suit, or I did buy a suit, $400 suit, and I returned it because I can't afford that suit, even though it made me feel great. I will say... He wore it to an occasion. I will say, a good suit for a guy is a good investment. Like, that's something that you can re-wear. Even if you're not, like, a suit guy, you don't have to wear a suit every day. Yeah, there, you can change it up with ties and shirts. Yeah. Change and, up the look. And, and you know, you'll just always have it. But that wasn't the case. And so he was like, he told his friend, he was like, yeah, 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 I'm just going to return it. And his friend was all like, what? That's you not- can't do that. That is unethical. And a lot of people are agreeing with that on the text line. Now, Ashley said used to work at DSW Shoe Store. People would try to return obviously worn shoes. Now, I so I get a lot of my um, my running shoes and uh, the, 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 the store that I get my running shoes from is like there's a 60 day return policy. And I'm like, 60 days. They're like, yeah. So if you know, you go, you try your shoes out, you run on them and all that stuff. Uh, you can return them after sixty days, and we'll 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 return them in exchange for something wow. else. And I'm That's thinking, a nice I'm, policy. I know. I'm thinking, my gosh. I mean, you know, the soul is going to be all like dirty and stuff like that. And you know, mm-hmm. who knows what I would have like run through at that point. And so, I mean, I've never like taken advantage of that, but it is kind of interesting knowing that that is the case. And also, I know that a lot of places now. If you want to buy something online and return it, they'll be like, no, just keep it. It, it costs more to ship it back than. You know, um, yes, that's happened it. a couple of times. Where we're like, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's pretty amazing. Now, I will say that um, years ago, uh, at a store that no longer exists, we, um, uh, my boyfriend at the time and I, bought a nice camera. It was about eight hundred dollar video camera to go on vacation with, and mm-hmm. so we took it and took amazing vacation videos. And then they had a no questions asked return policy. So then when we were back from the vacation, we just returned the camera. 
Well, see, that's, I mean, well, what did you, did you keep the memory card? <laughs> we we did, kept the videos. Yes. Are, are you sure? <laughs> yes. I would imagine. Yes. Because, you know, sometimes when you buy a used car, especially with new cars now, yeah. uh, they have the internal hard drive on there where um, you can go in and you can, like, listen to, a lot of times they won't clear the songs that were in the internal hard drive. Oh. And so you can hear this, the music that the previous owner uh, would what would have uh Haley you said your husband does this the whole buy something and return it so my husband at the time um it wasn't closed but he would always sleep with a fan <laughs> and what he would do is he would buy a fan and sleep with it on every single night and wear it out until it would not run anymore. Um, clean the dust off of it, go buy a new one, put it back in the box, and return another one and buy another one. So, oh so, wait, so he, would, he would return the fan that was broken and, and used? Yeah, so like, you know, just, you know, that white noise, it would start yeah. making like a grinding yes. sound, you yeah. know, because the right. dust and right. everything. Yeah, so once it was, you know, not making that peaceful sleep sound, he would go by the same model, oh my um, gosh. clean the dust <laughs> off of it, and return it. That's called and working the system, like, Haley. They weren't even expensive. They were like maybe 25 bucks. <laughs> that's, that's just, now that's just wrong. Thank you for the, the call, by the way. And I like how she said, um, my husband at the time, so, you know, didn't work out, obviously. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh all right well i you know what it's it's interesting because there are uh several that are agreeing and disagreeing with this tactic um, yeah justin is like that is shameful that is a crime you guys are awful uh now missy says you know um i think retail has caught on because i've noticed that there's a me- mechanism that holds the tags on the dress and it says if you remove this you cannot return it Yes. Yeah, they've gotten wise to people doing this, for sure. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, hey, thank you for the comments. And if you want to continue the conversation, you can. Uh, uh, go ahead. Well, there's one one last thing from Jessica. Right. Clothes are expensive. Life is expensive these days. So although it's not 100% morally correct, it's also not hurting anyone. Don't see an issue with it. Women have done this forever, so there should be no double standard criticizing men for doing the same thing. Back to Jack's suit. Every time I buy something, I wonder how many people have tried it on before I bought it. So it's no different than that to me. Most uh, all the clothes we buy from a store have probably been worn by someone, even if it's just in the dressing room. All right. There you go. There you go. Uh, Thank you, Jack. Thank you for coming to us. We appreciate it.